What up, Gemini? Welcome to your monthly reading. So this is going to be for the month of September 2020. And today we're taking a look at finances and career and love. So keep in mind this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, you can always check your other signs. But if this does resonate, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And the words could also be reversed when we're talking about love. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And that's it. That's it. So let's get started. Alright. Okay, so we have growth, perfection, and completion. Not everything has to be perfect. And some things are actually not going to be perfect. Some things are not going to be the way you want them to be. That's just part of it. And you kind of have to learn to grow with it. Because I kind of feel like you have a little bit of a known fear. And you just kind of allow the unknown to show up. Because sometimes you have this, it's like you have things pretty planned out. And you want things to happen in a very specific way. That is how you're prepared to, to receive your manifestations. Well, the universe is the tricky guy. So he's not going to give you things as you expect them. Okay. So I feel like it's a little bit, you kind of need to lose control a little bit. Okay. You have soulmate. The soulmate card has been showing up a little bit like crazy. Um, okay, we also have honeymoon and true love. So I do feel like uh, we could actually be talking about a third party. You moving from a person, from a soulmate, to true love. Possibly even the one. And that's the thing. You could be expecting the one to show up in a very specific way in a very specific time or something like that to be this person the soulmate and open your eyes you know open your mind well we do have keep an open mind um it may your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so again the person you think is the one might not be so they may, there may need to be a completion of some sort for you to actually get aligned with your true love, with the one. Okay? Because sometimes soulmates um, are, are just there to be friends. Okay? It's not that the person that you're currently dealing with um, is not a soulmate. It could be, but it could be meant to be just a friend. Okay? Let's see. For Gemini. Yeah. Overall energy for the month, we have the hanged man. Gaining perspective, gaining enlightenment, standing by, stopping for a second, and really trying to figure out what do you want? What is the right path to go? What do you need to do? Okay. Your strength, endings, ending stuff. We have the world's card and completion. So definitely a lot of endings showing up for you th throughout the month of uh, September. And I do feel like it's not going to be just a random impulsive thing. No, I, having the hangman has your overall energy, you're going to think about it. So you know it's the right thing to do. <laughs> that is interesting. Your challenge for the month is the nine of pentacles being single being independent feeling confident feeling good about yourself this could definitely be about finances and career but let's see okay so we have the six of swords the king of, of wands and the ace of wands for finances and career so six of swords in, is in the past you walked away uh, it's sort of it's looking like What's showing up here in the 
romance angels has already happened in finances and career. You had a shift. You walked away possibly from something that wasn't fulfilling, that just wasn't making you happy to something that makes you feel very, very powerful with this king of wands here. Which is quite amazing, actually. Because it's like you could have got a promotion, actually. Or you just went somewhere that really makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel a leader. It makes you feel in control of the situation. And for the month of September, we have a new opportunity coming in really, really fast. So this could happen in the first days of September. Um, and I kind of feel like it's something bigger. It's almost like for you right now, you're already in a very good position. And I don't think you will be expecting this new opportunity here. So it's that thing of keeping an open, of keeping an open mind. Because sometimes we're manifesting $10,000 a month. And the universe actually wants to give you a million dollars a month. But your mind is fixed. 10000 10000 10000 And you lose stuff. The universe wants to give you a million. So keep your open mind. Keep your mind open. A little bit the, the other way around. Uh, keep your mind open so you can be ready to receive new stuff here. Okay? So for love. Oof. Oof. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Dude. Ah. Gemini. Actually, let me... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gemini. Here's the deal when we're talking about love. So, in the past, Five of Pentacles, someone being left out in the cold. Kind of feel like it was you. Why? Because someone was self-sabotaging things. Who? The person that you think it's your soulmate could be a soulmate. But I feel like it's more of a karmic relationship, to be honest. Someone that you had something to learn from. Because their instinct is toxicity. Their instinct is to self-sabotage anything that comes through them that comes in their path they self-sabotage all of it they decept everything manipulate the devil is not a good person to have that is the person that you need to walk away from that is the person that you need to go honeymoon away from and towards who well i happen to pull a card for the person for the true love that you're getting in touch with the Empress. Now this is a person who is worth your time. This is someone who is grounded, someone who is caring, someone who is a great parent. For example, if you're already thinking about building a family. Because for your side, we have the Three of Pentacles. Well, it's a three, so we could be a third party uh, situation that you're already dealing with. I'm not sure if you already know this person or not. Um, if you know this person, I don't think you're giving it enough attention because right now your mind is set on this devil person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn right now. And you really want to work together with them to work on the relationship. But it may just not be the right thing. Okay? For the month of September, page of wands going beyond, living in the flow. If you feel like this Empress, Taurus, Libra, um, this Empress person shows up and you're kind of interested, but at the same time, you don't really know what to do with it, you know? Especially being uh, your challenge, being the Nine of Pentacles, you might feel like you lost your mojo or like you are not, um, you don't know how to date. You don't know how to flirt. You may be feeling a little bit conscious about yourself. Um, and not, er not everything has to be perfect. You might have Virgo in your chart. Um, not every Like flirt and dating. It's not perfect. Allow yourself to make mistakes, but be your true version around this person. This person is really worth going towards. Not toxic people. 
because this toxic person is just going to leave you behind over and over and over again. Toxic patterns. The devil is toxic patterns. The empress is a breath of fresh air. Okay, so let's start clarifying some things here. Um, let me clarify that nine of pentacles in your challenge. Your obstacle. Your weakness, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm still struggling with that name, okay? But let's just call it a challenge. Yeah. Um, again, you might have been focused. Ace of Cups here, bottom of the deck. Yeah, you may have been focused on this person for too long. So you kind of, um, you may think that you just don't have it in you. It's like, for you, everything, you already know how it works, a Hierophant. You don't know how it works going from an Ace of Cups to a Two of Cups to a Three of Cups. You don't know what it's like flirting, what it's, um, or you feel like you don't know what it's like to keep a conversation. Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands. That flirtatious conversation. You may not feel confident enough to do so, but it's like, instead of giving up, just try it. Just allow, it, allow yourself to be in the flow, to have fun with it. I feel like you're putting a lot of pressure into yourself and into the situation for it to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. The good thing here is that you have endings, has a strength. So this person that needs to go, it's gonna go. Because you're gonna leave it. And I'm really proud of you in advance. Because <laughs> um, it will truly set you free. And I do feel like this was a karmic relationship. You needed this relationship to show you something. You've learned your lessons. Time to let it go. Move towards something new, better, that's worth going towards. Okay? Let me try and figure out what that offer might be in finances and career for the month of September. Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, I don't know if this makes sense, but someone could have been watching you. Like watching your work. I don't know if you need your um, work field, if it makes sense, but like if you're an artist or, which you could very well be, um, an artist or someone who puts the work out there. Or even not necessarily an artist, but like if you treat your customers right, the word is going to spread. And that person that is going to offer you something has been looking um, at your work, has been hearing things, and they are really uh, curious about you. They want to know more, and they feel like you'll be in a, in a great, um, great add to the team. Okay, let me see if we can find anything else. Yeah, that's so amazing. So you'll still be able to be the king of wands. Could be receiving the offer from an air sign. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could actually You could actually meet this um, empress, this new person, through that work situation, that new offer, okay? Not necessarily that they are the ones who are going to bring you the offer, but you may meet them throughout the process. And I feel like you're dealing with very um, important people, very successful people, high class sort of thing. That's the thing. Um, but people that are already quite set in the world, Okay, so I, again, I do feel like this is an incredible opportunity here that you got going on and that it brings you, it's not just any opportunity, it brings you a lot of power attached to it. Okay, so let's move to love. I kind of want to find out more about this person. So let me see the page of, pen, the page of wands for the month of September. 
Okay, definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, with the King of, of Pentacles there. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the funny thing is that you may feel like you don't know how to be single, but this person just brings that singleness out of you. It's like you just want to get to know them. You just want to know more. You just want to be a teenager again. It's just so fun. I really like it. And there is love here. The potential for love, because it's it may be a little bit too soon to assume love but there is the potential for it and it is something that you truly have been manifesting something that you truly wish okay it's not just a toxic part partner that you need to learn the lessons from no this is true love this is someone that is worth opening up your walls and just being in the flow. And I feel like if you don't pressure yourself too much and you would just allow the relationship to flow however it wishes to flow, um, not controlling things too much, it could be amazing. Truly amazing and so fun. And it's almost like every day, if you go on dates, every date is going to be different. You're going to do incredible different things. Um that require a lot of creativity and a lot of free spirit from you. I feel like this person will truly set you free and will help you heal from this thing that was going on. Okay? So let me clarify the Empress. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what else? Alright. <laughs> Holy cow. Like, oh my goodness. Like, first card out. Ten of cups. Like, what in the bloody hell? We have the nine of swords and the knight of pentacles. The good thing about this person is that things are not going to move as a knight of wands. This is not a player you're dealing with. This is someone that if it's going to move it's going to move in a very serious grounded slow way for you to get into a serious grounded committed relationship with them because that is what they have in mind again a lot of healing not only from them to you help you heal you you are also going to help heal them from fears from past relationships there is a lot of healing from both sides and this ten of pentacles here is just incredible they are a committed person a person that wants a commitment, okay, that wants love, true love. If that is a person you're looking for, if that is something that you want, don't let this one go away. It's time to shift. Your time of toxic partnerships is, is done, okay? So let's pull some final advice and messages for you, Gemini. So, we have, <laughs> okay, let's start here. Something needs to end. Yeah, not a big surprise. Be an apologetically you. It's that thing. Allow yourself to be free. Have fun. Be a child again. I feel like that is what you mean, is to be a child again. Have that wild free spirit again. Bubble bath and face mask. Just relax. Rewrite your story. That I feel like this person is going to help you a lot with that. And follow your intuition. Okay? Just follow your intuition. Your intuition will tell you where to go. And don't pressure yourself. I feel like you're too hard on yourself. Okay? So, Gemini, I hope this resonated and it helped somehow. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay? Bye-bye.